Hello and welcome to part 8 of the C++ coding homework exercise where we are creating uh, Animal Crossing's patterns. We have two patterns left. This one, the one that we'll be doing now, is Draw Border Plus. So if, if you imagine your, here's your plus, like we already did, we will simply put a box around it. So there will be 15 axes here. 15 axes here, here, and here. So in other words, the first line will have 15 axes, the last line will have 15 axes. Also, the uh, first character of each line will have X, and last character of each line will have X. That will create the box. And also, in the middle of it, the horizontal and vertical lines will have 15 axes. So, since we already created both X and the box, we can simply kind of reuse it. Uh, from our previous exercise, here's our box that we uh, created. Actually, first let me just uh, grab the OF stream files as I always do, because we are writing to a file, so to in an append mode. And in it, after that we will do our for loops, and again it's a for uh, uh, integer r equals zero, r is less than the number of elements and r plus plus so we are looping through our rows now through our columns we'll do the same thing except it's gonna be c equals zero c is less than the number of elements and c plus plus and inside of the inner loop as we are looping through the rows uh, and columns we will now I'm copy paste the box. So this portion of code that we already created in the previous videos, so refer to those if you need a refresher. This is the box. We will create if r equals zero or r equals the, in other words, if the beginning of the row or if it's the end of the row, we will output a symbol. So in to this, so it would be first character here or the fifteenth character at the end. So that output the uh, symbol. In this case, uh, let me see, this is gonna display plus because our fifth pattern has a plus as the symbol to uh, print. Also, if the C equals zero, that's the beginning uh, of the column. This is the first row and the last row basically. If row equals zero or the row equals last, so it will be here or here, that outputs the that prints the parent symbol. All right. So, uh, and if every row starts or where every row starts, which is C equals zero, or where the row ends, which is the C equals number of elements minus one, we'll output another symbol there. So that will create the box. Now we'll add the uh, plus, so I'll go to my code, and this is the plus that outputs the symbols. So I'll just copy paste it, but it's not going to be if, it's going to be else if. Now if plus is, uh, if the r is a uh, number of elements divided by 2, in other words, if it's a uh, half, we'll print the symbol. The same with c, because we are doing vertical and uh, horizontal lines. In the middle, so we'll wait up, the, uh, up the, uh, for the character to be the middle of the line, and I'll put it. Then another middle of the line, and I'll put it. And also for C, when it output, when it's a number of elements divided by two, we will output uh, uh, and uh, the axis as well. So uh, that will create the X. We have the box and the X in it, and. Every other character that will output will simply be the output file, the fill character, the empty character that we have to fill the, the space in between the actual symbols. All right, so I'm going to copy paste these three lines as I always do, which uh, prints the additional two empty lines and closes the file, but also Remember, after each uh, uh, of the inner loops, we need to move to the next line. So I need to, after the inner loop, I have to output an empty line as well. 
and move the cursor to the next line. All right, so that should be all. Let's uh, run it. Uh, so far, so good. No errors or anything. And here's our pattern file. I have it open, so it, it's telling me that it changed because now we added the uh, uh, another file, another pattern to it. So I just click yes to update it. And here's our pattern. Here's our box. Here's our X. Here's our cross or a, uh, plus. Here's our X in the box, and here's our plus in a box and I have it as plus symbols and two bit empty lines between each character and be between each pattern all right so that's five out of six and in the next one next video we will do the checkerboard so basically I'll put in every other character in the line starting from the first character in the first line but starting from the second character in the second line so if you want to see how to do that stick around and i'll show you in the next video take care